Welcome back to another video on crack concepts and this is the third video where I am solving SQL interview queries, very important queries. Two videos are already up and total of five videos are going to be up and if at all you're watching the video a little late and all the five videos are already up, if in case you will find those videos in the description box or in the comment section. So make sure to check it out. If, if at all, all the five links are not in the description box. The videos are coming very soon so stay tuned for that and without further ado i'm going to start with question number three but before i start with the question number three i am going to give a refresher of this entity diagram and the tables so that you know you are well versed with it and in case you already know it and you're watching the videos in continuity and you already know it you can skip that part and you can go directly to the part where i'm solving the question so yeah let's do that okay so there are total five tables account balance account type account type underscore d account name and names now as you can see there are lines between them so what this means is these two tables are connected via pk pk means primary key so, and these two are also connected these two are connected then these two are connected and these two are connected. but these two aren't connected these two aren't connected these two aren't connected because there are no lines between them and if you want to see how they are connected, always, rem always remember that PK or FK will be written in brackets. So PK means primary key and FK means foreign key. Okay, so between these two tables, what are the common table or common columns that you can find? So if this is account underscore I and account underscore I. So these two are common between the two. And, uh, and between these two, between these two what you can find account underscore i account underscore i again is common between these two and between these two account underscore type underscore c is common between the two between these two um first underscore name underscore i and last underscore name underscore i and name underscore i these are common so also remember that primary keys or primary keys in two tables so suppose one is a foreign key and the other is primary key it does not necessarily mean they will have the same names they can have different names as well okay and um, between these two account underscore i is common okay now let's see the tables this is the account balance table which has account underscore i means the account numbers date and the balance amount then we have account type so account i and then account type underscore c so these are just letters then we have another table which is account underscore type underscore d so this has account underscore type underscore c means means these this column this and this column these two are common between the two so between these two tables account underscore i is common and between these two tables account underscore type underscore c is common so as you can see c d h s these are common and they have corresponding descriptions so c corresponds to credit card d corresponds to check account h corresponds to home loan s corresponds to saving account and then we have account name account underscore i again this is the primary key this is the common key between the various tables we have first name i last name i and now you will wonder why we have integers why do we have numbers in first name and last name we have one six two five three five four seven there should be names so we have another table at the bottom which is names and here we have these numbers one two three four five six seven and these have corresponding names so one two three four five is actually one means ross so ross first name is ross then we have six six is here which is carter so one two three four five account number one two three four five the name for account number one two three four five is i mean the account holder is ross carter okay so one six ross carter this is how the tables are interconnected okay so it's little complicated and the questions are also complicated and hence there's a lot of learning involved in these five videos that are going to come so stay tuned for it and in this video obviously i'm going to solve the first question but yeah the table tables are quite complicated they are interconnected and you will understand a lot about sql queries and how to solve them 
so do not miss these five videos i will insist on that okay so let's begin with the first question which is write the sql statement to show the most recent balance for each account Question number three is, write the SQL statement to show the full name, first name, then space, then last name of all customers who have a credit card account. Now, as we can see, this question has two parts. The first one is we need to find the full name, first name, then space, then last name of all customers. This is the first part. This, the first part is to figure out the first name and last name. And the second part is of all the customers who have a credit card account of all the customers who have a credit card account which means we need to filter the data filter the data means maybe probably we have to use where clause not sure we might have to so let's figure out what we can do let's figure let's find out these columns first of all in the entity diagram so we have first name last name where is first name and last name it's over here first name and last name and as you can already see, first name and last name, first name underscore I and last name underscore I. These columns only have numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Obviously, those are not real names. So those two columns are actually connected to this table where the actual names are there. So we actually need these two tables. These two tables need to be joined together in order to get the first name and last name. Okay. So first name and last name, we can find that out over here and then we have this part of all the customers who have a credit card account now who have a credit card account credit card account means account description which is over here type underscore description so this needs to be joined with these two tables now these two there's no no direct route between the account type underscore d and these two tables so we have to go via this route we need to connect them through account underscore type. We need to join them via account underscore type. Okay, so I have given a few hints over here. How about you pause the video and try to solve this query. Give yourself a good five to 10 minutes. Try to figure this query out. And once you're done giving a shot at this query, return back to this video and see the answer. This way you will you will understand queries better you will understand you will know the thought process behind writing queries better so let's do that pause the video for a couple of minutes and try to solve this query our question is write the sql statement to show the full name first name then space and last name of all customers who have a credit card account okay so credit card is over here column type underscore description and this is the account type underscore c and that needs to be connected with this table which is account underscore type and here we can get the account numbers account underscore i and the account underscore i can be joined over here and here we can get first name and last name and first name and last name over here has numbers so this needs to be connected with our next table which is names and here we have one two three four five six and these are the actual names so there's a long road that we need to take let's do it let's begin writing the query okay let's start joining the tables first i'm going to write select star from account underscore name and i'm going to give it an alias am And I will join the join it by names. I'm gonna join this tables. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the very basic tables. Okay, which is this one account underscore name. Okay, and this table names. Okay, which has Ross, Harry, Ben, and all of that. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna give it an alias FN. On a n dot first underscore name underscore i is equal to f n dot name underscore i. Now, okay, 
okay here is a table account name and we're selecting star from account name and we're joining first underscore name underscore i means this column which has one two three four with this table names and we are joining it to name underscore i this column so that's exactly what i've written over here an dot first name underscore i is equal to fn dot name underscore i this is how both the tables are going to be joined but here's the catch we have we need to join this table two times because we have two columns first name and last name and these two columns are joining to this one single column name underscore i in the table names so what i'm going to do is again i'm going to write join names ellen means last name on an dot first name underscore i is equal to ellen dot name underscore i so this is how you can you can join one single table two times okay so just in case you did not know if a single table can be joined multiple times this is your answer yes you can and here it is you have joined the table two times now i do not need all the columns i just need fn dot name as first name and ellen dot name as last name And here we have the first names and first and last names we have joined the two tables and we are taking the name the name column from them okay the first part is almost completed we have the first name and the last name we need to I know we need to merge them and have a space between them that we'll do in the later part but let's get on to the next part which is we need to filter it by all customers who have a credit card account okay so we need to use where clause over here now we need to find all those customers who have a credit card account credit card can be found over here in this table which is account type underscore d but this table needs to be joined with this and this table needs to be joined with this because there's no other way we can join because this table does not have account numbers so we need to join this by this table and then this by this as this is our base table as account underscore name is our base table this is our base table this needs to be joined with this table and then this table needs to be joined with this table the three tables okay where a and dot account underscore i is in and then we're going to use a subquery over here select account i from account underscore type where account type underscore c is in Account underscore type underscore D and where type underscore description is equal to credit card. We are gonna select account underscore I, account underscore I, account underscore I from this table account type where account type see this this column is in we are we are then again using another subquery okay the subquery is select account type underscore c from account type underscore d this is the table name where type description is credit card okay now we need to join these three tables as we already know okay we have the account number over here we have the account number over here we need to find the respective account type underscore c 
this color in order to correctly write the query for that we need to join it to this table because we know our output needs credit card description i mean the account description needs to be credit card so this needs to be our base base query like base sub query so this is our base sub query select account type underscore c from account type underscore d where type description credit card credit card so here we will get c this inner sub query this query the output of this is going to be c so just imagine c over here so our output over here will be select account underscore i from account underscore type where account underscore type c is, is in c so wherever the account type is c all this account numbers will be the output in this case okay so the output for this will be one two three four five and three four five six seven why because these two have the account type description sorry account type underscore c account type underscore c means account codes account codes code as c okay and how did we find that the account code is c for credit card using this sub query okay so i hope this is clear okay so just one last time this inner query will give us the code the account code the account code for credit card because our question has only given us this hint that all the customers should have the credit should have credit card account so the description the account description should be credit card so which is over here so this inner query will give us the code account code which is c which will we will use in the next query which is this in order to get the account numbers account account numbers which have account code as c so we get all the account over here, accounts over here, which we will use in the outer query in the where clause because we need to filter it so this is it and now this is our output let's see if this is correct now that we have run the query okay the output is okay ross ross was okay something is wrong just a sec okay here this needs to be last name why because this we are joining it two times one on first name and the second time it's, it needs to be joined on last name so first name underscore i is equal to name underscore i last name underscore i is equal to name underscore i and now if i run it here it is this is our output let's just check if our output is correct okay credit card what is the code for it c let's go on to the next table which is account underscore type c there are two account ids which have account code as c one two three four five and three four five six seven let's go on top again one two three four five and three four five six seven what are the first names and last names one and six and three and five now let's see the respective names for one six and three and five here one six was here three and five susie carter so our output is correct our output is correct this is the required answer that's it that's it for this video this query was particularly quite complicated and had a lot of concepts involved i hope this was clear and if at all you all have any questions any queries comment down and i will be happy to help you all and thank you for watching this video make sure you watch all the five videos in the series all the five questions all the five queries are very informative very important so do watch it and you will find the link in the description box like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching